this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to repair your console storage if you are having an issue with it. So on your PS5, we want to go ahead and completely turn this off. So if we have our PlayStation 5 turned on, we want to go on over to Power, and then go to Turn Off right here. We don't want to go to Enter Rest Mode, otherwise we won't be able to access the Safe Mode menu. So if we do have any kind of like corrupted data or corrupted games or something like that, repairing the console storage should go ahead and fix this. Now another thing is you want to plug it in with a USB cable to your controller, otherwise you won't be able to operate the menu. So let's scroll on down since my PlayStation 5 is turning off, and there it is. So I have my controller plugged in, and we're going to wait for the lights to stop blinking. Then go to the power button and hold this down. And hold it down for like 5 to 6 seconds, you will hear one beep, and then you will hear another beep. Then you can go ahead and let go. Heard the second beep, you're going to let go. And press the PlayStation button on the controller, and you can now operate the safe mode menu. Now let's scroll up, and we should see all the different options under here now. So we have restart PS5, and then option number three is repair console storage. You can go ahead and do this, and it should restart your PlayStation 5, and it's going to fix any kind of like hard drive issues or any issues you have with your M.2 SSD in the expansion bay or anything else like that. Otherwise, we can also go down to option number six, and this is going to be very similar. Then we can go to rebuild the database right here. So you may have seen like an error code pop up at some point saying you need to rebuild the database. So you just come to this section and then select it, and it's going to restart your PlayStation 5. And it's going to take about six or seven minutes to completely go through your, your hard drives, your different drives, and then repair them. So if you do have corrupted data, this should go ahead and fix it with your specific games. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.